What's going on everybody, it's Matt Cannon's Garage. Today, we got a 2019 Toyota Sienna all-wheel drive minivan, which you wouldn't think we'd be working on this right now because this car ain't that old. But out of happenstance, a rock bounced up somehow between this person's grill and put a hole in a condenser. But a condenser is part of your AC system, which you can't see it right now, but up in here, this is where your cooler goes down into your radiator and the condenser is like literally in front of it. So I can't believe that happened, but we want to try to uh, take some stuff apart to see if we can get to it. All right, so the process to get started, take this condenser off. We gotta take a lot of stuff off the top. But these cars got all kind of covers and all kind of junk. Shit. Yeah, we can pick that up. So we got these little clips right here that attach to the front bumper. <clears throat> it's like a little cover here. So we need to take all these little plastic clips out uh, probably remove our, our air duct going here, move that out the way. And uh, I think there's a bracket here that has to come off that holds in our, our hood latch. So all that's gotta come off first, so we're gonna go ahead and work that out. All right, we got the bottom plastic cover out. You can see how big it is. This thing had a whole bunch of screws and clips and stuff. We're still working on the top piece. You see, I already moved the air duct out the way. And we need to try to figure out how to get this part out of the way so we can get behind here to get to the back part of the condenser. So now we're going to check out the bottom. All right, so we got the bottom uh, brackets loose. Right now we're working on this top bracket. This is kind of like your core support that holds in the top of your, uh, your condenser as well as your radiator. So one thing we saw we need to do, we got this loose, as you can see, but we got some bolts we gotta take loose. I'll get some better light and show you in another clip here. But we're gonna take off the hood latch because it's kind of gonna give us uh, more space to be able to take this core support bracket off. So that's what we're doing right now. All right, we got our upper core support bracket out the way. And the way it looks, we gotta move that bolt there's one more down here. Should be that top bolt there. And then there are two lines on this side, which I believe is uh, two of the AC lines. You got one going in, probably one going out. So like a inlet and a return line. So we need to go ahead and get both of those out. And I believe after we do that, we should be able to lift this thing up and slide it up and out. All right, guys, you can see we've got the new AC condenser dropped down to its location. One thing to be aware of, right here where I'm shining the light on, this little bracket, this little clip, this is where your condenser drops down into. So it just sits down in this location. Uh, and the bolts that are for this line, they're just 10 millimeters. That's one at the bottom, that's one at the top. There's no other bolts holding the condenser at the bottom, but the two top ones are also 10 millimeter. All right, so now we got our top bolts in. Now we're gonna reinstall our core support bracket. So this also has some 10 millimeter bolts. So we just gotta just wiggle this in here. Make sure we move our hood latch out the way and this bar that goes down the center. So we can go ahead and line all those back up. All right, we got it all back together now. Got our new condenser in. So the next thing you want to do is you're gonna go ahead and get you some AC refrigerant. Most cars now use, I think, R134. And you wanna connect that into your low pressure side of your AC system. And we lucked out on this car, they're actually labeled with an L and an H. See, that's the H, that's the high side, L, that's the low side. So hook the AC refrigerant up right here. Make sure you shake the can up, because it does say that on the uh, back of the can. Turn your car on, turn your AC on full blast, and fill it up until the gauge on the, uh, on the unit says that it's full. Don't overfill it, and that should be all we need. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do that, but we're done. So for more tips and tricks, follow us at the Mechanics Garage. 
like and subscribe here on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram. And have fun out there. Peace.